What's up, guys? This is the kid DZD, aka the Drink King, coming at you live once again inside of the NPC software. Um, this video is going to be just giving you a small tip on how I use my 808s as a key group inside of the NPC software. Um, I'm going to try and get a few of these videos out to you guys and start answering you guys' questions um, in just some little small, short videos. Uh, that way it's not a long drawn out video. They won't be beat making videos as much as they are informative tutorials for you guys. So make sure you guys drop me your comments below in the comment section. Um, ask me whatever questions you want. I'm going to get these videos out to you guys based on those questions that you guys ask. So just make sure you drop a comment, drop a like, all that good stuff like that. That way I can get more, more of this type of content out to you guys. So real quick video, I'm just going to show you how I get my 808s going as a key group in NPC software. Um, I have a nice little uh, beat going just for this purposes of this tutorial. Okay, just a little quick beat just for the purposes of this tutorial right here. So next we're going to go to track four. Okay, to build your key group, what you do is you go over here and you you select key group right here. You don't want drum program. You don't want plug in for your VSTs. You don't want anything else. You want key group. So um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull up the browser here and we're going to go inside our our um, our drum kits. And I'm going to use my striker drum kit. For those of you guys that don't know, I have the striker drum kit that is out on my website. Um, it's going to have pretty much all of these drum sounds you hear on this beat right here and also the 808 that I'm going to use. Um, that drum kit is here on the website, the Striker Drum Kit. Um, it's absolutely amazing. Um, you get uh, you get a lot of hot drum sounds in it. I think it's over 60 drum sounds you get. And I have it on sale right now for you guys. So go ahead on and pick that up. If you haven't yet, you're going to enjoy it. Trust me, you're going to have some hot drum sounds in there. And it comes with the actual NPC expansion as well. All you do is just drag it in and it's going to give you this right here. It's going to give you the artwork and also the samples tab with all of the, the different uh, different folders with all of the different sounds. So 808s, claps, you know, you got your hi-hats, you got your kicks, you got your open hi-hats, percussion sounds, you know, and you got your snares, a bunch of snares. So Everything you need to have a nice tight drum kit to where you can make some nice beats. Trust me, you'll be using this drum kit for a long time. So let's go on and grab one of the 808s out of this kit. Let's see which one we're going to use. Let's grab that one right there. So now we're going to go here to the program. Edit up here. I'm going to edit the program. And make sure that we have that same 808 in the first slot right here where our samples are. That way, that way, that that's the one that we can trigger. So I make sure that 808 is right here. Now what I do is I make sure that the 808, or when I scroll over here, the 808, the amp envelope needs to be, the release needs to be bought, bought up a little bit. And I make sure I put the sustain all the way up as well. That way it makes a box and then I make sure the release is nice and uh, a little bit lagging as well. That way the 808 doesn't just hit and and it's just uh, it's just dry sounding. So the next thing I do is I go over here and I change this to mono. It'll be on poly like this, but I change this to mono and I also change this to mono. That way your 808 sounds aren't overlapping each other. They, it cuts uh, it cuts the sound off. Every every 808 sound, every next sound cuts the last sound off. You're not going to get a whole bunch of bass frequencies overlapping. Your 808s aren't going to overlap. So now that I got that all set up, um, all I do is just basically my drum kit, the 808s are all in C, so you know, you're know not going to have to worry about um, finding the, the key of the 808s. They're all in C. So all you do is just start off with C, and then you can move up the grid and try and find where the uh the sound fits so let's see we're gonna put it on c let's go up here so we so we have a nice little clear reference there we there we go see how that fits 
Let's go. Let's go now. So that fits right there. So that's C, D, E. So let's see if we can come up with a little pattern real quick. Now that we got that, we're going to just go ahead on and, and pitch this down one octave by holding shift and a down arrow. And there you have it. Your 808 is now, is now on point and is ready to go. The reason I'm going to show you this amp envelope again. The reason why I, I set this the way it is is because if it's not, then I'm going to show you how it sounds. If the release is not, is not dragged out. See, the 808 is a bit sharp, so you want the release to kind of linger just a little bit. Okay, so just make sure that that's set the way it is, and then you always want to sustain up to give you the full sound of the 808. And don't mess with the, the, ta the, the attack and the decay, because if you mess with the attack, then it's, it's not going to have the pop, the pop at the beginning of the 808. It's, it's kind of going to fade it in. But you want the actual pop at the beginning of the 808. So just leave everything the way it is and make sure you extend the release out. And make sure that you change these to, to uh, mono and take them off of poly. That way, you know, you just have a one shot and it hits one time. And you should be good to go. Now I click these in, but you can do the same thing if you're actually using the NPC controller itself, the actual machine. All you do is just put it in pad perform and then find the uh, find the notes on the pad perform mode and you'll be able to do the same exact thing you did here but just with the with the uh, the actual NPC machine itself so there you have it guys I hope you guys got something from this video appreciate you guys tuning in make sure you grab that striker drum kit so you can get data waste the whole entire drum kit is for sale on the website I will leave a link in the video description make sure you guys also leave me your comments below that's where I'm going to answer your guys questions with these little short videos like this so make sure you guys do that drop me a comment below anything you guys want to know anything you guys have trouble with drop me a comment and I'll try and make some short videos to answer that so yeah, have a good one guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.